Hello, welcome to Geek Gaming Network. I'm Zoidberg. Uh, today I am playing Devil's Temple, uh, which is on the Amiga. Uh, actually released just last year. Uh, it is the latest game to come from Giza Games, who have been uh, quietly producing some of the best uh, arcade conversions I've seen on the Amiga in recent years. Yeah, Bomb Jack Beer Edition um, more than makes amends for the uh, dodgy um, version of Bomb Jack that we got from Elite. And Turbo Sprint um, finally gives Amiga owners a, their own version of Super Sprint, which was uh, always one of the uh, the games that I was upset never made it to the Amiga. Uh, the Atari ST version of it was absolutely fantastic and one of the best games I've ever played. In uh, this Devil's Temple uh, is inspired by a number of arcade beat em ups from the uh, late eighties and early nineties. The subtitle of Son of Kung Fu Master probably gives, gives away that Kung Fu Master is one of them. Um, but it's also uh, pretty heavily inspired by um, Vigilante, which was uh, also made by Irem, people that made Kung Fu Master. In terms of uh, a lot of the visual choices that the game makes, there's, there's a little, definitely elements of Renegade in here as well, which is another game that uh, the Amiga owners didn't get a particularly good version of especially compared to the Spectrum version. I would go so far as to say that um, beat-em-ups in general are pretty hard done by on the, uh, on the Amiga. There's not that many good ones. When you buy this game off the uh, itch.io website, um, it only it will only first of all it will only cost you 13 quid um but you'll also get the three adf files to the, to the three discs that the game would, would have come on uh you'll also get the lhl file for the hard drive installation whether you want to play it with the adf files or the hard drive file they'll all work pretty pretty easily on the a500 mini just by uh whacking them in the folder of your choice First impressions are that there's a lot to like in this game. The graphics are very nice. Um, this end of second level boss is actually the hardest one that I've come across so far. although I'm making it look quite easy. It's the first time I've ever beaten, it. I've beaten that boss first time. If you can, you need to play this game with a two-button joystick. Um, I mean, the joypad that comes with the 800 Mini is perfectly serviceable in that in that regard. Um, but you actually have a kick and a punch button. So trying to play it with a regulation one-button joystick, like most Amiga games would, would have used, uh, is not really recommended at all. Those guys with the black shirts on who fire the, fire the guns are a bit of a pain. I don't think I'm going to do this because it, it does appear that I'm running out of time. Oh, yes, I managed it. Ah, bonus stage. Ah, damn it.
missed three of them. I've never actually managed to hit kick all 25 on that. Get a, get a lot of nice little Easter eggs in the background in all the levels that I've seen so far. You get the movie posters in the uh, in the subway, and now we're in, now we're in an arcade. You can see that one of them says Neo Geo on it. Um, there's another one a bit further on that looks a little bit like Star Wars. It's clear that the uh, programmer of this game, who goes by the uh, nickname McGeezer. Does, does know his stuff. Oh no way! I lost my I lost my nunchucks. Ah. Oh, yep, yeah, that first arcade machine there is quite clearly Pac-Man. But the way that enemies can grab you and you'll lose a lot of health comes straight from Kung Fu Master. So it, it it's hard to criticize a game for having one of the same flaws that the, its inspiration did. If you're interested in uh, racking up high scores, then making sure that every single hit is a kill is a good way to get your combo up. I've, I've, I've not quite reached that uh, that particular skill level as of yet, though. If you're wondering why I'm not using the nunchucks, it's because I want I, I want to save them for the for the boss at the end of the level. There's a pretty decent selection of uh, arcade-like options on the before you start the game as well, where you can select the number of lives and your difficulty. And even your starting level. Another option option that exists is um, a, a, ma a maturity filter, which um, rather unnecessarily um, makes all the characters swear. And I, I, I don't feel like it added anything to the game at all. If anything, if anything, the um, the ability to add swearing to the game just uh, robs it of, of the whole arc arcade innocence that it has. Okay, this is the first level where uh, there aren't six numbers in the background that uh, that help you determine where the bonuses are. Not a chance. Game over. So that's my thoughts on Devil's Temple. Um, available now on the Commodore Amiga. Um, I would highly recommend it if uh, you're a fan of Amiga games. It's one of the better beat-em-ups that I've played on the system. I think IK Plus is still the benchmark, obviously. Uh, but this is um, definitely one that I would... Uh, urge you all to go out and buy only 13 quid uh look on the itch.io website search for it on there uh, and you can download it so thank you very much for watching this video uh please make sure you give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more like it uh i'll be reviewing more amiga games in the coming in the coming weeks and don't forget to check out my re-review videos every two weeks on a friday um if you want to know more then follow uk jen zoidberg on twitter thank you all for watching and i'll see you soon Ha, ha, ha.